Good morning. Happy Friday. Beautiful Friday here in the Northeast. I hope it's uh, beautiful where you are. It's supposed to be a scorcher today. Up in the 90s. I'm going to try and get a swim in later. I hope, it's, uh, I hope it's nice wherever you are. And if it's also a scorcher, I hope you, uh, you get a swim in as well. Unless, of course, you hate swimming. Then, uh, then I hope you never uh, go into water. Ever. Um, I also hope we're never stuck together on a hot day because that's going to be my my suggestion when you inevitably turn to ask me. Um, that's what I'll say. Um, anyways, uh, okay, so welcome back to another edition of uh, Zach Sings Into His Phone. We're doing a series of uh, songs that I've written. Um, but never really done anything with, um, the, uh, the archive, the vault, so to speak. Um, this is a song called The Truth. I started writing it a long time ago when I lived in Portland, Oregon, and, um, then I finished it during the lockdown, and, um, I'll talk more about that after, after I play it. Um, hopefully not a whole lot more about it. Uh, um, Trying to keep this like under 10 minutes if I can. They keep getting longer and longer. Um, but uh, the point is I wrote this song for my friend um, Camille Weatherford to sing. And um, um, so uh, eventually when we record it, I'm going to have her sing it. I just don't have anything coming up that it would work, work for. But I'm hoping that this will stand as a recorded testament to my uh, dedication to getting the song done. Um, so I wore this shirt that Camille made, um, with a little, uh, tribute to her. She's still alive. <laughs> it makes it sound a little <laughs> weird. Like, she's not with us. She's very with us, and, uh, and she does a beautiful version of this song that I'm gonna do. Um, so, uh, shout out to her, and, um, we'll just, uh, get right into it. Okay, this song is called The Truth. Lately when I fix my hat, a little bit of hair falls in there, and I notice it on videos, but I'm too lazy to go back and do it again, so maybe, hopefully, I don't even think it matters. It's probably good for me, like immersion therapy or something. Okay, anyways, that's the truth. <laughs> and so is this. This is the truth. Here we go. <laughs> Sitting by the phone waiting for you to come home Baby, where do you go? And all these secrets that you keep They keep you lying to me All my friends say I should leave Say I'm a fool not to see All the secrets that you keep And you know that they're right When I say I played the fool Give you one more chance tonight <clears throat> to tell me before I'm gone. Cause I'm tired of all of your lies, you worn out alibis. I'm tired of these tears in my eyes, and I want the truth this time. Yes, I want the truth. Sorry is not enough For you to win back my love No, it won't work because You say it far too much You know sorry is not enough 
you should know this is the end. Oh, you can laugh, you can't pretend. Tomorrow you'll come stumbling in, find yourself alone again, then you'll know that it's the end. Still you know that they're right, when they say I played the fool too long. I'll give you one more chance tonight, to tell me before I'm gone. Cause I'm tired of all of your lies. Worn out alibis. I'm tired of these tears in my eyes, and I want the truth this time. Yes, I want the truth. Cause I'm tired of all of your lies. Worn out alibis. I'm tired of these tears in my eyes. And I want the truth this time Yes, I want the truth That's how that one goes. That's the truth. Um, um yeah. Okay. So, um... The idea is uh, that I wrote that song, started writing it, and then stopped. Yeah, that's the concept um, of what I wanted to say about songwriting. My process. Because you asked. Um, <laughs> I, uh, uh, certainly not because I want to talk about it. Um, uh, so, one thing that I do, though, because I do see a lot of... Well, so the things you just say, you know, when you're talking. Um, I don't ever see a lot of really anything. Um, um, I see a lot of leaves on trees. I see a lot of rice when I eat rice. Um, but I see sometimes people will talk about, like, uh, finishing songs and really, like, working and working and, that, and then you break through. And I think that happens a lot, and that's definitely true, but... There are times where I've really benefited from letting a song just sit. So, like, I wrote that song and I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. Nothing really made me, like, got me excited. And so I just let it sit for a few years and learned a bunch more about music and how to play guitar and how to write songs. And then during the lockdown, I did kind of what I'm doing now. And I brought some of these half-finished songs out and started decided to finish them. By the time I got to that one, I was like, oh, I know how to finish this one. Duh. Like, I'm glad I let it sit because... Now I know how to actually do it, and I don't have to, like, take apart too much. Like, I just had to add more to it. I didn't have to, like, take apart a chorus and put a new one in. I just had stopped before I even got to the chorus, so then I was able to build one like that. So, anyways, um, that's kind of the point for anyone out there that makes up songs, too. Um, so sometimes you can just let them sit for a long time. I just put them in the notes of my phone and then scroll back through when I have some time and... You know, sometimes I let them sit for two months, sometimes I let them sit for two years, it doesn't, it just, you know, however long it takes, it takes as long as it takes, so, um, anyways, I just wanted to say that, and I want to say shout out to Camille, um, uh, who does that song really, really well, and, um, also when I was writing it, I know it seems like, I didn't send it to her because I thought it would be like, it's like a... I didn't write it in the perspective of a female singing it. I didn't think like, oh, this is a female and this is a, um, you know, kind of a, it's kind of has that in it, obviously. Um, it is in that tradition of stuff, but I didn't think about that like too consciously going into it. I kind of, th I just thought about it as me. And then I thought it'd be interesting once that laid out and I saw what was going on that I was entering those old, uh, traditional things. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool to hear a guy sing this. Um, but um, then ultimately, just the way the melody is, I just kept hearing Camille's voice. And so sent it to her. She sent me back a version of her doing it. It sounded even better than I thought it could. And um, so that's that kind of sealed it for me that she's going to have to do it whenever I record it. So, again, hopefully this is a living reminder that, I can, uh, that we can get that done. And... Um, Okay. Hopefully I didn't go on too long. I really appreciate you watching this video. 
And if this is the first one you're watching and you like it, and you've made it this far, you probably have nothing going on. Uh, so why don't you check out the other videos? And if you like anything you like, please send to your friends. Um, it really does help a lot um, to uh, to uh, get the word out a little bit about this guy singing songs uh, into his phone. So um, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody that, that watches these, likes them, comments. If you have any requests of songs that you might want me to, to try, I always love a good chance to try my best. So please leave those in the comments. And, um, and yeah, again, I just I appreciate everybody. I hope everybody has a nice, safe weekend. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you Monday. All right, go Tigers!